What's up, gigging musicians? Would you like to know how to book high paying corporate gigs? I'm going to share with you exactly how I booked a corporate gig here in Denver that actually turned into about a dozen future corporate gigs as well, all of them high paying. So my name is Jared Judge. I'm an electric violinist and I just moved to Denver about a year ago and I have no connections here. Nobody knows that I exist. And in fact, I started a completely new musical act here. Previously, I had booked a string quartet when I lived in Milwaukee, but here I started a completely new one of electric violin plus backing tracks. So doing a bit of Google searching led me to find this one networking organization for meeting professionals in Colorado. I found this networking organization and on their website, they had an event called the MIC Conference. It was the Meeting Industry Council of Colorado Annual Education Conference and Trade Show. And when I read this existed, I was thinking to myself, who is going to attend this? I realized it was going to be completely attended by corporate event planners, the people who could hire musicians like you and me. And so I needed to play at that MIC conference. I found the email address of the person who did all of the organization, sent them an email back in November-ish of last year, did not hear back. In fact, two weeks passed by, still didn't hear back from them, reached out again, and finally got a response. Their response was, we'll look into this, but the holidays are coming, so we'll get back to you in January. Waited a couple more weeks and finally got a response from them saying, hey, if you'd like to play at our event, we'd be happy to have you as a sponsor. Now, a sponsor does not mean you have to pay money to play at these gigs. You know, I never think you should pay to play. But also, sponsor does not mean that you're going to get paid. It means that you're providing your musical services for free in exchange for the exposure that they will give you. And if you're thinking this is still just playing for exposure, this is the cheat code. Wait for the next part of the story. I promise you, I'll show you how it paid off. So I said, yes, I will sponsor your conference, your MIC conference. And we actually signed a sponsorship agreement where they agreed to put my logo on their stage. They agreed to put my name and email and phone number in their emails. And actually, they also had a little expo where you could have a booth and they gave me a free booth in exchange for my sponsorship. So I signed their contract put together a set list. In fact, there were two performance opportunities. I was playing before their opening keynote and before their closing keynote. So I put together two set lists and then played. The conference rolled around in March. And at this event, I got to play in front of literally a thousand corporate event planners, which was amazing. One of the biggest gigs yet to date. The stage was awesome. It was like several hundred feet long. There was an LED wall behind me that the, uh, the sound and video engineers, they curated. It looks really cool. The videos are awesome. Plus, I got professional photos and videos of that performance. Uh, the real cool part, though, was afterwards, I had several event planners come up to me saying, that was great. I've got this upcoming event. I'd love to have you play. And so from this one gig, I did get about a dozen corporate gigs from it. And they're all high paying gigs and all because of this one gig, which is awesome. So you put in the time and that is an example of one of the ways you can get corporate gigs, which is by sponsoring an event. So if you're trying to do this yourself, what I would go ahead and do is I would Google in your area networking groups in the events industry. You will find some networking groups. Some of them are like MPI, Meeting Professionals International, NACE, National Association for Catering and Events, ILEA, International Live Events Association. And you'll find some of these close to you. Some of them won't be so close to you. On their website, they are going to have listings of upcoming events. Look at that calendar, see if there's an upcoming one that is possible for you to play at. If you work with a group, make sure to check with their availability too, because you're going to want to showcase your full capabilities as a musician. And then once you're set on, I'm going to sponsor this, find an email address for the organizer. Uh, you can find it on their website typically or on the event listing itself. And then draft an email that just offers your sponsorship. Tell them, hey, my name is so-and-so. I would love to sponsor your upcoming event on this date. Here's what we do. Include a video of what you do and then send it off. Some people won't respond and that's okay. This is a numbers game. Booking corporate gigs is a numbers game. And then when you do get somebody accepting you, do a fantastic job. 
knock it out of the park, play your best, be professional leading up to the gig, meaning be clear on what your requirements are. If you require certain sound equipment or an engineer, let them know. But then do a great job when you're there. Make sure that when you're loading in, you don't bash your cart against the elevator wall. Play, do an amazing job, and then afterwards thank them for their sponsorship. Make sure that when you agree to the sponsorship that you get it in writing. What are they going to give you as far as exposure at this event that you sponsored? Are they putting your logo on stage? Are they putting your name, email, phone number, and website on their website, on their social media, in the emails they send out to attendees? That is how you make sure you get the most out of this. And then after you play, make sure to follow up. Follow up with the event organizer. Thank them so much for playing. For In my case, when I did this, I got actually thank you cards from the event organizer themselves. And they also sent me an email list of all the attendees. Take that email list, put it into your email spreadsheet or your wherever you do your email marketing, and then send the attendees a follow-up thanking them for being there and saying you hope you enjoyed their performance. Ask them if they have any upcoming events where your live music would be appropriate. So that is a simple strategy. It's simple, not necessarily easy, but a simple strategy to book corporate gigs, which is one of the many corporate gig strategies I teach in the Full-Time Music Challenge. If you're interested in learning more about my free five-day full-time uh, corporate gig challenge, Click the link in the description or go to fulltimemusicacademy.com slash challenge. And I'm running one soon, so you're going to want to register soon. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video where I'll share more of my high-paying gig planning tips.